I am getting ready for Go Wild. I want to show you guys all this merch I picked up. So let's get into it. Friends, introduce myself. I'm Sherry with Sherry's Plants. I share my planner ideas, reviews, and inspirations here on YouTube and on Instagram and in my Facebook group. So check those out. The links are in the description. And I felt like, okay, I've been collecting some Go Wild merch since I bought my ticket um, almost two years ago. Uh, right after the first, um, when was it canceled? In 2020. When 2020 was canceled, I had bought my ticket that summer. It was supposed to be for 2021. That one got canceled. And now we are, um, let's see here. I've got my countdown on. I am 33 days away from Go Wild in Anaheim 2022. So I started, I got really excited when I bought my ticket the first time, bought a lot of merch. I've been picking up a few things here and there since then. Um, so let me show you guys all what I got here. I, okay, just to, just to get this out there up front. Some of this stuff may not still be available because the shops have sold out. Because some of this I bought when the conference was supposed to be in 2021. So some of it's been sold out. Some of it might not be available still. I am going to try to link all the shops that I've purchased from. But if their product's not available, they may have other stuff. Uh, the other thing is, as I don't have prices on everything. Um... I might try to give my best guess on what the price is, but I don't have prices on everything. Again, because what might have been there, what may have been on sale and stuff like that. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna say is with shipping delays across the country, I don't know if you see this and order it, if you could get the stuff on time. But I do wanna share with you what I got um, and my thoughts behind what I'm gathering here. Um, kind of, I guess this is some tips. I just want, if you want to, if you want this stuff, go ahead and buy it. You might still be able to make some use out of it, even if it doesn't get to you before the conference, okay? So, let's just get into it. I got so much stuff here, okay? Okay, I try to move some stuff around. I'm going to try to show you things by store, okay? And yes, I'm do my best here. Okay, so this, these first things here, I've actually picked up from Michaels. And Michaels had, um... I guess a collaboration with Wild for, Wild for Planners. And so I picked these things up. This was probably like the first Go Wild purchase I made. These are, okay, I had a couple of these decals. One of them I did use in a notebook already. And then this is a luggage tag. And I thought, so I heard this, some of this is I'm sharing some tips, but you, the, they, in the past, they have given you a tote when you checked in, and this tote is filled with some swag, but everybody has the exact same tote that they're carrying around. So they said to like use a luggage tag or some way to mark your bag. So I thought this would be cool. I can put my um, information on here and like I'll have my luggage tag, right? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be for my tote. I picked up, there was a pack of like adhesive pockets. So I thought these would be cool to stick in like a notebook or something like that that I'm going to use. I'll show you guys probably what I'll end up sticking these in. And then this is a sheet, a little booklet of some stickers here. I think I may have used one or two of these, but I was really saving this for like memory planning and stuff like that. Yeah, like that right there. I used that sticker. Yeah, there's a couple of these that I used. But... Just a cute little sticker book. I haven't actually looked to see if the stuff is still available from Michaels. Um, like I said, I literally purchased this like two years ago. Uh, let's see. This these uh, sticker sheets. I've used a couple of these. This is um, I think it's I I think the way to pronounce this is Adorium Prints, and I believe yes, you can find them on Etsy here. I'll make sure I'll link the shop if I can. Um, again, I bought these so long ago and these were like my first countdown stickers I was using and yeah I think like I started using these to market when it was like months away and then I've got 30 days until countdown stickers here I've got a couple sheets of countdown stickers but this was one of them um let's see here this I'm probably I'm, I'm kind of going in like a chronological order so stuff I've ordered from like furthest out this is from Kiddo Bits. It's the sticker shop, I believe. I bought this um, 
sheet to memory plan with and then this was a vinyl sheet I bought one of these two to send to a friend uh, way back when but this was again from when it was in June 2021 but I've had this just kind of up on my wall and what I think I might do is if I can cut this piece out down here uh, the June 2021 and be able to use this sticker in like one of my notebooks Okay, I bought a couple of these pouches. Um, I bought one for myself. The other one I'm gonna kind of send as like a roommate gift, but I think these are so cute. The shop name on this is Miss Smarty Pants, and I just see she does have an Etsy shop, but I do remember, I think, buying these. She has like her own shop page, but I do see that you can get these on Etsy too. So this is just a cute little zipper bag. I love the colors on here. Just think it's so much fun. And then, and actually since we're here, these look like they're still on sale and they're $11. And like I said, there's a couple different design options there, but those are super cute. Um, let's see, I bought these sticker sheets from According to Allie. This, okay, so these were when they were updated here. And I just think these are some cute planning or memory keeping sticker sheets here. And yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll try to make sure I link the shops and everything I use. These I had actually purchased from Erin Condren. Uh, after the first uh, Go Wild was canceled, they had like a warehouse sale at some point and these stickers were available to purchase then. They're not in the shop anymore and I don't think like they normally sell these, but since like this Go Wild was canceled, they, um, or rescheduled, they, they ended up selling them. Anyways, I picked up like, they're in two packs. So I got like four sheets, plenty of uh, stickers here to plan with. So I should say really quickly that these shops that I'm sharing have purchased the uh, rights to sell Go Wild merch. It is uh, kind of exclusive and so not all shops are selling Go Wild merch with the logo and the colors and all that stuff, but uh, these shops are, yes, let me, sh okay, sharing this with you. This is from Freckled Sticker Co. What I started saying was I had bought these stickers and I was originally going to be planning my trip and doing my memory keeping in an Erin Condren softbound notebook. <laughs> All right, you guys, I literally spent way too much time trying to find this notebook to show you guys what it had kind of looked like and what my idea was. And I'm like, it's going to come up in the most obvious space. Literally was on my desk the whole time. This book right here. I've literally spent 20 minutes looking for it. My camera battery died right here on my desk the whole time. Okay, so my idea was I was going to use these as headers, the bucket list, promo codes, third day schedule, like all of this were going to be like headers in my softbound notebook. And that's how I was going to memory plan. I'm going to show you guys here something in a minute I had purchased um, instead of using this notebook. But these are there's options if you want to uh, memory keep and plan but do it at a lower cost. I had used Softbound Notebook that I had already had to do this, okay? So these were from Freckled Sticker Co. I guess I'll show you guys really quickly since it's here. I had purchased, I mean, I had had this Softbound Notebook and hadn't had a use for it yet, so, but I thought it'd be perfect for this. And okay, I had started using this after I had first bought my ticket. Back when um, it was probably, like June of 2020, I'd bought my ticket and Go Wild was supposed to have been planned for June of 2021, okay? But I had purchased this little decal that says Go Wild here from a shop. It was like a, you were just able to personalize the decal with a color and I, so I'd put that on there. This was uh, Wild at Heart. This was the other uh, vinyl sticker that I was talking about from the Michaels pack that I had used. And, um, I had like just a page of go wild tips that I was starting, um, prices on some stuff, who was going. Again, these were um, people that were going in 2021. I don't know who's still going right now. Kind of ideas on what to bring, roommates. Um, this I was gonna use. Okay, so I had bought my ticket in May, yeah. And I started writing down merch and stuff like that and when the second payment for Go Wild was due. Okay, anyways, I had started doing like monthly um, planning, memory keeping, what's gonna happen each month and I, then I quickly stopped using it. And so this was like my plan through January, February, March, April, 
May, a whole page for May and June because it was supposed to be in June, right? Um, ideas for roommate gifts and table mate gifts. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of how I had started using this notebook. And my thought was like using these uh, stickers as headers on things to like memory keep in the rest of this. So I wasn't taking my planner with me. Uh, everything was in here for Go Wild, okay? This is an idea. I have made another purchase since then, and I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a minute, okay? Like I said, I spent way too much time looking for that darn notebook for it to be here on my desk. Uh, let's see. Oh, really quick side thing. These are, this is the Go Wild colors right here for my nails, okay? And I just wanted to share this because I've been absolutely loving this. This is from Dazzle Dry, and it's I have been loving Dazzle Dry. I've been trying to find nail polish uh, that would not chip and would last a long time, but this stuff dries super fast and it's just, I have absolutely been loving it. It's a little bit more expensive, but totally worth the investment in my opinion, because literally my manicure lasts, they say it's gonna last a couple weeks. For me, if I can get a manicure to last a week, I'm happy. So, but I bought this color. This is a party dress if you're gonna look for it. Um, but I thought this was like the perfect go wild color. So this is definitely go wild manicure right here. I'm gonna leave a referral link. I think there's like a dollar amount off if you spend over $15. Um, I'll, I'll put that in the description if anybody's interested in that. But this is what, I've been using Dazzle Dry for a few months now. I've bought a handful of colors, but that totally go wild color right there, right? Okay, this was shared in the Go Wild ticket holders group not too long ago. And this is from, that's, I'm sorry, the Etsy shop is Melissa K143. And this is, it's pretty cool, okay? I'm gonna try to show you guys this on, see if it works here, okay? On my work phone. <laughs> Cause my camera battery died, so now I'm using my cell phone. Anyways, so, she's selling these. These were like $8, okay? And they're still available and they shipped so quickly. So check this out. She's got um these keychains, some pins, some washi cards. She's got a lot of different options on her uh, website, but she's it's linked with social links. So this uh, keychain, I was able to personalize it with my name on here. And what it does is like, so I think, see how it like pops up with social links? in Safari and I can open it up and it brings up my social links. Okay, how cool is this? So I'm gonna link the shop and you guys seriously have to check this out because this was like $8, okay? But so once you purchase the keychain, you go to the link that's on the page of the product you're purchasing, right? It's on, it's on the items page. And you go there and it's gonna ask you to enter in your information and like your sales number from your Etsy order, okay? And when you do that, you you are creating like a social links page, okay? So you choose your, pick your, pick your name, you pick your picture and everything like that. You do a little description and then you can add like four or five different links. So I'm able to add like my link tree, my Instagram, my YouTube and my Facebook group, okay? Literally, like you just did, like I, somebody scanned, like it's just near here, like, and it's gonna pop up with that thing at the top, right? That says, follow this link. And then somebody can go here and be like, oh, cool, I'm gonna follow Sherry on Instagram and goes to the Instagram page and then you can follow them right there. Like, how cool is that? Like without, I don't know. I just thought that was like the coolest thing ever. And it was like $8. So I'm all into it. And hopefully being able to link and socialize with people there. Um, it does, it seems super confusing to per when you purchase it. It's not guys literally make the purchase on the tag. And then on that, when you click on the link, you can go through there and have the options to say, you can like make your own picture on here, or you can use some of the stuff that she already has some of the artwork that she already has. And you can personalize it with your name. Like I did there. Okay. It's so, so easy. I promise you that. Okay. But I'm going to make sure all these shops are linked, right? Uh, okay, so another shop I purchased from is Chrissy and Designs, okay? This, again, was from 2020, and uh, so I bought this sticker sheet, and I bought this washi, okay? So this is just really just like a, I don't know, an ombre of colors. There is the word. And it's got like a very faint little, like, uh, leopard print? Yes. 
leopard print on here. I have since bought, it's been like two weeks now, I had bought more stickers from Christiane's Designs. I was waiting for her to be able to update everything for 2022 because her stuff does say it's for 2020, but she has not and will not be able to. She just had her celebrations collection launch, so she's got a lot of stuff going on and will not be able to update everything. But she does say that a lot of the speakers that have been announced so far are the same that were announced in 2020. So I bought like that sticker, um, I bought like a couple sticker sheets for the weekly planning and then um, the speaker um, names announced, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, the speaker names. So I can like memory keep like who the speakers are and all that stuff. Yeah, I thought this was like a cool like checklist of things to do, sticker sheet, bought that. Literally like I just bought more sticker sheets though from Chrissy Ann Design, so those should be coming soon. Um, another shop that I absolutely loved getting swag from was the Sticker Party. Her shop is based out of Canada. She is shipping product super fast, but it is taking a while to get to me here in the US. So um, if you do want to order from her, I'm pretty sure if you order it quickly enough, you can get stuff in time. So this, I bought like a whole kit back when, again, it was supposed to be in 2021. And this was a super cute kit. I love the little date covers with the days on them, but they're outdated. And then again, this Planaheim 2020s, like it's, it's a little outdated, but there's still a lot of things I can use when I plan. So I'm gonna use this sticker sheet, these sticker sheets, along with the sticker sheets I bought from Chrissy and Designs to plan out my week. And she does have the uh, more updated on her shop. Like I know she has more updated stickers on her shop, like the whole kit's updated. I just um, had those and I'm gonna use Christian Design, so I'm just gonna use them together. But she does have more updated on there. Um, I had bought these uh, washies. I think these were, I'm pretty sure these were both from her shop as well, but I didn't mark them anywhere. Um, this is like a purple almost foil on it, which is really cute. And then um, this one, has just like that silver foil on it. So I think I bought, I'm pretty sure I bought these both from her shop as well. I'm gonna feel really stupid if I didn't, but I'm pretty sure I did. And then this, so I had bought two sticker books here, two sticker albums, okay? And this one I haven't pulled out. I'm gonna pull it out now. I had kept it in the plastic for so long and hadn't pulled it out, but check this out. It's a swag book, okay? and a little sampler's contact cards, okay? This idea, I honestly can't remember who I heard it from, but I remember hearing this from somebody, but they were talking about sticker albums at the Go Wild event so that you can keep all your sticker sheets together and protect it, okay? Um, I'm also trying to not carry around a whole lot of stuff, and these um, are super thick, but I think they will be fun to um, keep everything in. Like I can take all the sticker sheets back up to the hotel room and be able to put them in here. So I might not be carrying these around with me during the event itself. But once I get up to the hotel room, be able to stick stuff in here. Although carrying them around with me during the event will help keep the sticker sheets protected until I get to the hotel room. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Anyways, so these are both from the sticker party. They are like so matchy-matchy. I love them. So samplers and contact cards. Contact cards look a lot like this. This is a lot like a sampler card that you could get at Go Wild. Um, and Because it, it has like the person's name. This was from Melissa K143 who um, made that uh, very cute little keychain I just had. This came with her order, but she sent me. So, but this is a good example of what a contact card looks like. It usually has some sample stickers on there from a shop. It has a person's name and where to find them. And so to keep these little things protected, you would stick them inside of the sticker album like that. And then sampler sheets or something, you would be able to stick in there as well. And then this one's for swag. When you get like full sheets of stickers or some other things that you're doing that you wanna be able to fit in here. Um, this is a pretty full sheet size. These are super big though. Like I said, I don't, I don't know. I might carry them around with me just to keep stuff protected because that was the purpose of buying them. 
again, I don't know if these are still available on her shop, but yes, like I said, I've been collecting stuff for a long time. Okay, here is one of my most recent purchases, and I regret not, I don't know. I want to say I regret not buying this sooner. However, I changed, once I saw these, I changed my mind on how I wanted to plan and memory keep for Go Wild. Like I said, I had planned on using this softbound notebook, which would have worked perfectly for me, but I saw these and fell in love with them. They are from Lights Planner Action. Okay, let me show you guys these because I was so excited for these. They were $23 or something along that lines plus some shipping. This is the B6 size. I got them bound. There's um, several other options that you can get these in sizes, bound, unbound, punch, stuff like that. Let me show you kind of what these look like. So this book is called Wild Planning. And it is all updated with um, like the Go Wild dates for 2022 on here. Oh, this. Okay. A lot of her stuff coordinates with a couple different shops such as the Sticker Party. And there's another shop. I can't remember the name of it, but I do know it was based in Australia, which is why I didn't purchase anything from there. But just because shipping is so expensive. But she has stuff in here that coordinates with those two sticker shops, which I think is just clever really so one of them was the sticker party and um she has these this countdown sheet so she has a countdown page in here which i am going to use however i'd already put the seven weeks in my life planner and these are not removable so that was a bummer but we'll go from there um there is, okay, so this is wild planning. We start with like this countdown page here. We have flight details, hotel details, airport transportation, and car rental information here. So I'm not renting a car, but I can put pictures over this or I can put some other stickers over this to still make use of this page. The artwork in here is just beautiful. And these three books have everything you could need for planning, memory planning, keeping, whatever you want to call it, at go wild, like all of it. Um, and as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to be able to start in these books. Like I'm so excited. Okay. So there's a checklist. There's one month to go, um, two weeks to go, one week, one day to borrow, to buy. I love the checklist pages. And what I love too is being able to save this. And if I go again another year, next year, I can look back and be like, okay, these were the things I did or this is what I forgot to do. And be able to write it down and keep it in here, okay? Uh, roomy profiles, super cute. I do have one roommate. Some uh, people go with up to three people in their room, which is a fantastic way to save money. Just when I was making the plans with my roommate, um, we kind of just discussed just being a little bit more comfortable and having more space and more time to get ready and just being a little bit more comfortable with just the two of us in a room, which is completely fine. Either way you choose to go. Okay. Um, roomy profiles. I think this is super fun. Lots of room for like pictures. Um, I do have a little printer, uh, photo printer thing that I'm definitely going to make use of, out of after this. Uh, going on a trip, need about four outfits, packed 35 just to be safe. Uh, packing lists, so travel essentials, clothing accessories, technology, toiletries, odds and ends, and planner supplies. I had just brain dumped some stuff in that other little notebook that I had, and I'm going to be sorting it out and organizing it in here. Outfit plans, again, brain dumped in there, but the date, the activity, the weather, and the outfit. So again, there's several different activities. Um, a lot of people, you could be like going out on the town or something like that. So maybe you want like a going out outfit or staying in outfit or going to Disneyland or something, whatever you want outfits for this, you can plan in here. There's a lot dates and stuff like that, but you could have different outfits for one day. Okay. I'm definitely going to try to pack light and I plan on sharing as much as I can um, in my packing and prep work for getting ready for Go Wild. So definitely plan on sharing more of that. Getting ready for Go Wild. Um, you have a wild budget. 
So date item cost, savings tracker on here. Like this was why I would wish that I could have um, had this beforehand because I don't feel, I feel like what I might do is, this is estimated cost, I might track what I spent. So next year, if I go again, I have a good idea on what the cost of things are going to be. I feel like it's been so much easier for me to pay for Go Wild because it's been almost two years. <laughs> since I bought my ticket and then I bought my flight recently and I bought the hotel recently, but the ticket I purchased almost two years ago. So the costs have really been spread out for me, which makes it a lot easier for me. Um, promo codes, uh, notes, wild merch. So I could track all of the stuff that I was buying. I could track it on here and how much I spent or I'd rather not, <laughs> but uh, you could. <laughs> Bucket list places to see, things to buy, uh, llamas to meet. So like I had a list of people that were going, I'll have to do an updated list on my Instagram sometime soon, food to eat, um, and then some notes pages. Okay. So I, again, I'm so excited about these books here. Again, the same things I was going to, I'm putting in these books with everything I was going to put in my softbound notebook but these are just so much prettier. Okay, well, this one's called Wild Days. So this is more during the event, right? And again, everything's updated here. Um, itinerary check-in. This is Thursday's itinerary, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's itinerary. Some grid pages here. This is like great for speaker notes. Or maybe if you're like doing um, something where people sign your book, that could be fun. I could be like that sign my yearbook type thing. <laughs> I don't know. Do people do that? I don't know. <laughs> but there's lots of room on here um, for stuff. And then Thursday, you've got like what the day is going to look like, weather, temperature, food heaven, llama love, inspired by, laughing about. You got the same thing for Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, uh, more memory keeping here. New friends, best day was, and then yes, tips for next year, best thing I ate. There's room here for the welcome party, for planned jamma, and there's a plan behind passports. I'm, I want to say she said something about this in her book. I don't remember what it was, but somebody had stickers or something that coordinated with this as well. I don't remember. Um, and then this one is wild memories. So again, all nice and updated. You have table mates. Um, so at go wild, you, um, the first day you have sponsored tables and those are sponsored by shops and companies. And there's usually all kinds of fun swag at the tables. Um, that's like only for that table. And then you have the second day you have like an open table thing where people on that day, people tend to bring gifts for their table mates which is super fun way to like get to know people and meet people. Um, it's not required that you bring table mate gifts, um, but it's fun to do so if you're able to. I know some, like I'm traveling and flying, so my table mate gifts are small. People that drive or live locally um, have kind of more of an option on what they wanna bring for table mates. So you can um, list who's at your table or like what table mate gifts you got or pictures. Pictures of table mate gifts would be fun here too. Uh, wild at heart, some quotes, just a lot of memory keeping on here, which is going to be fun. And I love all the artwork that she's got in here too. Say it again. These are nice little like quotes pages on here. Dinner details. So if you're going out to dinner. Uh, crop night. I'm not a hundred percent what that's going to be like. I kind of gather it's like people doing like activities and stuff like that at their tables, like different people sponsoring different things at tables. So that sounds like fun. Definitely something to check out. Uh, there's a planned jamma party. There's a photo strip here. So I think like they've done like a confetti carpet way. Uh, top five moments. Wild wisdom. Okay, 
lots of fun stuff in these notebooks. Um, what I do want to say about these notebooks is they were like, like I said, $23 for the pack of three. There's also like a five pack of the bound ones that just have like one book of lined and one book of graph or dot grid pages for more memory keeping and stuff like that. They did take a couple weeks to ship another week or so to get to me with shipping and everything. So literally if you want these, like you need to order them ASAP to get them in time for the conference. Yes, I think that's everything. Um, like I said, I've been just, there's so much stuff and I still have more swag stuff coming in. Like I bought some more stuff from Chrissy and Designs that's supposed to be here soon. Um, I just kind of wanted to share again, like what I got for Go Wild, what Go Wild merch I got. And I told myself, I was actually just talking to um, my friend Victoria on Victoria's Plans. She um, had just purchased her ticket and is going to be coming. And I told her, I'm like, I said I wasn't going to buy any more stuff. And then I did. So um, it's but it's so much fun. But I know we're going to get, there's going to be swag there at the event too. So you don't have to feel like you have to buy merch for Go Wild. Like you're going to get stuff there that's going to say Go Wild and stuff like that on it. So this is all just like the fun stuff beforehand. Um, anyways, like I said, I'm going to try to link all the shops that I bought from. I will also try to attach a link. It's from Wild for Planners that puts on the Go Wild event. And they have a list of all the official um, shops that can sell Go Wild merch. So I'm going to try to attach that link as well. If there's other shops you want to check out that I didn't, haven't purchased from, that's always an option too. I am super pumped for Go Wild. I am so excited. If you're going, please let me know in the com in the comments that you're going. Um, and please, I know everybody says this, come find me, say hi, but seriously, come find me and say hi I would love to meet you. I would I'm just love to meet as many people as we can. I'm so excited. So, so excited is finally coming. Uh, let's see. I'm also going to be vlogging while I'm there. How fun is that? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going to be vlogging while I'm there. So I'll have a camera out if you want to come say hi and be in a video. Like, that'd be cool, too. Um, I'm also going to make a video beforehand of what I'm doing to prep for Go Wild, what I'm packing, um, tips that I have um, beforehand. I'm sharing, I'm gonna share tips, guys. I'm gonna share tips just on my, what I've seen and what I've um, heard from other people, what other tips other people have shared. Um, I haven't been, so I don't have personal experience yet, but I've, I've done a lot of research, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna be sharing um, a video beforehand of tips and stuff like that and then i'm going to be vlogging while i'm there and then once i get back i'm going to do a full swag haul video i hope i'm going to be able to bring everything home i'm going to have like so hopefully there's room in the luggage for all this stuff so anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel if you're new here i post new videos every tuesday and friday i'll see you all next time bye everyone